Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 71 of Let's FIFA 13 and we start this episode off by building a new squad for the new tournament. It is the Nordic Cup and the requirements for the tournament is that you need to have 18 players from uh, Tiba Liga and Al Svenskan. So, um, that is pretty much the players we're going out to get. You could basically build a squad only with Tiba Liga players or uh, Elsvenskan players, but I wanted to get a mix of both uh, leagues. So uh, I have about five from one league and six from the other league. And uh, the winnings for, for the tournament is 2,000 coins and a consumable items pack. So if you get lucky in the pack, it can be a good price reward you get. Like if you get a 4 one 2 one 2 uh, formation card or if you get a squad morale or something like that, you'll get quite a bit of coins from that tournament but you could also get unlucky but yeah still uh, there's uh, a few things to win from that tournament and I had a difficult time finding some of the L Svenskan players the, there were not many on the market and I had to get Carlson in the wrong formation and I didn't want to convert him into a 3-5-2 mainly because he was a 200 coin uh, center back and there's no point in converting him into a 3-5-2 he would still get the full chemistry despite not being in the completely correct formation and finally we pick up a squad morale as well so this is the squad on goal we have Hansen a very very good silver keeper probably one of the best at least in my opinion 84 diving 83 kicking 79 reflexes and 72 positioning for a 74 rated keeper that is not too bad and he's quite tall as well then we have Jansson as our first center back used him before and he's tall as well got decent pace and defending on him and uh, he's a quite solid center back but uh, the real star center back of this team is Holland used him in the first season of Let's FIFA 13 and he's probably one of my favorite silver center backs 76 pace I believe 90 strength and he is really really tall he's like 190 tall so a very big strong and fast center back and the weak link in the center back uh, line is Carlson. He got all right pace, but defending and heading doesn't look outstanding. But he's there to link up with Mutumba on the left mid. I really wanted to try him out, mainly because uh, some of the clips I've seen on YouTube of him. If you search him up, he, he pulls off some pretty nice stuff. But uh, I'm not sure if he does it on a consistent basis so he could get the 5-star skills uh, in FIFA 14. It would be cool if he got it. But I guess some of my Swedish followers can tell me if he does skills on a consistent basis in Alsvenskan. Because it would be cool to have another 5-star skiller in him. Uh, the first center deficit mid is Khan, uh, 71 pace and he's just extremely tall. So despite his defending not looking too good, he's just big and strong. Uh, got a decent pace and then medium, medium work rate. So he's quite good there on the center defensive spot. And the other center defensive mid we got is Draghi. Used him in the past as well. He's quite fast. Medium, medium work rates again and 4-star skills and I believe he got a 4-star weak foot as well. Not too sure on that but yeah he's a very, very good player there. And on the right mid we have Ekpo still getting 9 chemistry despite being a right wing. So yeah he is a quite a good there and uh, there's one downside to him and that is he's right footed and he avoid using the weak foot so you can't cut inside and take shots with him which is a shame so uh, yeah there were not really any better options so uh, I went with him in the end. Center tank mid we have Berget and um, he got an inform 250k it was a little bit too much for what I wanted to pay for a silver player but still his regular card is extremely good 4 star skills long shot trade decent pace good dribbling and all right passing for silver and he would prove to be a really really good player in the games I was going to play and the striker partnership is Husiklep and Elion Nusi not quite sure if I'm pronouncing the last one right but yeah 88 pace on both of them I believe and 4 star skills and a quite deadly striker duo there on the top so that is the squad we'll be playing with and they all had pretty good fitness at least for the first game I wanted to play so I uh, jumped straight on into the Nordic Cup and I come up against the full Tiba League and squad there I would probably have choose a few different players uh, but nonetheless we get the game started here and uh, we missed the header there and it was a game where it actually was quite difficult to to break him down and yeah um Mutumba his shooting is really really bad I believe he got 57 shooting and you could see that and that was basically the picture of this game I simply couldn't hit the target or get a goal whenever I tried here I hit the post but no goal and then in the 70th minute we finally break through here it's who's a clip on the ball a nice little ball road scoop tend to go past the defender and finally get me a goal quite late into the game and then Mutumba on the ball spamming the roulettes here but the finishing is just not there so the game ends at 1-0 and uh, as you can see here I simply couldn't hit the target whatsoever with the team. It took a little bit of adjusting, but into the later games, it would prove to be a whole lot better. But uh, before playing with the squad again, I need to get the fitness up again. So we went into the Gold Cup, and we come up against a 3-5-2 squad here around the Bundesliga Serie A, and... Uh 
uh, La Liga players and it's part of getting the first chance here and he picks up my 100th penalty and I was really nervous when taking this because I thought I don't want to miss this and luckily enough David Villa will, will convert it and uh, our conversion rate is now 82% 82 goals out of 100 penalties which is not too bad and uh, we continue on we get a goal here with Neymar and he did create quite a lot of chances in the game but uh, he couldn't hit the target just like the other game I played and I was quite a uh, confident when playing this game because despite not getting that many shots in on goal he kept on rushing forward and I I just took advantage of that at points and apart from that I just tried to get some skill moves going and here's Pato on the ball going past two defenders tried for a bonus cross but of course he does not have the flare trade so the end of that goal didn't look at quite that good but still it is a goal 4 nil, and David Villa on the ball here trying out a shot but unlucky to hit the post there and instead it's him going on the counter attack finding a completely open Royce and he will actually pick up a pick up a penalty there and he will step up for that shoot and shoot it over my keeper I was actually I was actually trying to dive to the side but it didn't like react to it and stood in the middle so yeah nonetheless I wouldn't have saved it anyways and we get a nice pass and move go here goal here David Villa Alba and Neymar linking nice nicely up together there and we win the game with 5 to 1 and then as you can see here he had a few more shots than me but not many on target and I had a bunch of goal, uh, shots on target most of them went in so uh, after that we went into our final game back into the Nordic Cup uh, trying out our squad and we come up against another Tibet League and squad with uh, somewhat a better players than the other squad I played against but I would create a few more chances in this game I was adjusting a little bit to the team here it's a clip getting a shot in it is a blocked however and we continue can continue on Edwin Nuzi here on the ball lovely stuff and we find a Mutumba but uh, he's probably the one player I just can't shoot with 57 shooting as I said not too good but then who's a clip on the ball lovely little skill move there we find Bergen a dummy to go past the defender and we make it 1-0 and Bergen was going to be kind of the main player of this uh, of this game he hits the post there unlucky and then who's a clip on the ball here he my opponent gets the tackling but we still on the ball make our way into the box and we pick up penalty number 101 and my bronze player is actually the best one on the penalty so he steps up for that and convert it to make it 2-0 but just a few minutes later he he makes it 2-1 and then one minute later we find a bag and look at these lovely skill moves to go past the fender and he will blast that one into the back of the net to make it 3-1 and that is how the game ends and how this episode ends. I hope you did enjoy it. Tomorrow will kind of be a day off. I'll work a little bit on the new series I want to start up and then Monday we'll be back with Less Fever 13. So yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy it and that's all. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you later.